Good afternoon, guys. I know, another video, and there's a good reason for this one. <sighs> Anybody ever heard the phrase, comedy is truth? You know, think of George Carlin. You know, pretty much everybody knows George Carlin. He was pretty much straightforward, and he told you exactly what was going on in the world without any filters, and guess what? He was right, okay? You know... The old joke, what's the opposite of progress, Congress, you know, yeah, all right. He had a, a good way of getting the truth out to you with make, while making you laugh, but he was honest about it. There's a catch. And I'm going to get back to that in a second, but I want to give you this. That is something to start with here. Fly. Okay, so uh, my video from this afternoon around lunchtime. <clears throat> And I was telling everybody about the what was going on in the world. And I know damn well anybody that hasn't followed this channel or first time they watch it, goes, oh my God, he's a conspiracy theorist. And everything I tried to explain to y'all, no, it's not a conspiracy theory. Okay. I want to give you something that anybody that tells you you're full of shit, I'm full of shit, whatever it would be, tell them that stick this in their pipe and smoke it, okay? Yesterday, well, let's start back here. In 2008, an author, a professor by the name of George Kent wrote an article called The Benefits of World Hunger. Yeah, okay. Yesterday, for some goofy reason, the United Nations decided to publish this article on their website. Mind you, again, it's entitled The Benefits of World Hunger. And yesterday, okay? Well, needless to say, there was a whole bunch of uproar about publishing an article called The Benefits of World Hunger on the UN website. For good reason, okay? Now, I want you guys to listen to this. This is what this article says. We sometimes talk about hunger in the world as if it were a scourge that, w that all of us want to see abolished, viewing it as comparable with the plague or AIDS. But that naive view prevents us from coming to grips with what causes and sustains hunger. Hunger has great positive value to many people. Indeed, it is fundamental to the working of the world's economy. Hungry people are the world's most productive people especially when there is a need for manual labor. So as he goes on, this is kind of interesting. Much of the hunger literature talks about how it is important to assure that people are well-fed so they can be more productive. That's nonsense. No one works harder than hungry people. Yes, people who are well-nourished have greater capacity for productive physical activity, but well-nourished people are far less willing to do that work. Okay. This is the most telling. Okay, I want you to listen to this paragraph closely. For those of us at the high end of the social ladder, ending hunger globally would be a disaster. If there were no hunger in the world, who would plow the fields? Who would harvest our vegetables? Who would work in the rendering plants? Who would clean our toilets? We would have to produce our own food and clean our own toilets. No wonder people at the high end are not rushing to solve the hunger problem. For many of us, hunger is not a problem, but an asset. Liberal professor, okay? When this guy wrote this article, George Kent, he was a professor, professor in the Department of Political Science at the University of Hawaii. Okay, we all know which way Hawaii, Hawaii leans, okay? Come on, this is the state that elected Macy Hirano, uh, you know, there isn't a conservative brain in politics in Hawaii. And certainly, now you add professor and college and everything like that. Yeah, okay, guy's uber liberal. Okay. But like I said earlier, this got a lot of pushback and screaming and yelling at the UN as to what was going on, you know, and it got taken down off their website. Okay, fortunately, when he all sent me the screenshots of this, I knew about the story, but I couldn't find the article. He sent me the screenshots, and I was like, cool, somebody got this. 
So here's the issue. How is the UN trying to spin this? Oh, the article was satire. You know, it it was just making a joke on what's going on, you know. Okay. Let's use a little logic here. Let's say that the article was satire. When it was written in 2008, if it was satire, when when has the UN got into publishing comedy pieces? Okay. I mean, the UN's a joke, but it sh- certainly shouldn't be uh, publishing satire on their website, right? Okay, I'll give you that. Why would they publish a 14-year-old satire story on their website, considering what's going on now in the world, where we actually have food problem, okay? Food shortage, hunger, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I, it, it may be somebody at the UN was that tone deaf to publish this, but I'm sorry. I'm not going to believe for a second that this article is satire, that when it was published yesterday, it was meant to be satire, that it was specifically published as a roadmap for, as the last paragraph I read, the elites that they don't want us, Joe Normal, okay, to have everything we need. Hungry people would be better there to serve them as slaves. There it is in black and white, guys. Okay? Like I said, George Carlin and many other comedians who've done the same, they will tell you the truth. It sounds like comedy, but it's all based on fact. They can try to spin this as satire, as, oh, that was just a joke. Okay, sure. Soylent Green was satire, too. How many other things in Hollywood, how many other things that have been written turned into a roadmap? I don't know. 1984 ring a bell to anybody? Okay. Animal Farm ring a bell to anybody? You know, George Orwell seemed to write the blueprint for the World Economic Forum for the Democratic Socialists of the World that they are using as an instruction manual as opposed to a piece of fiction. This right here is obviously not a piece of fiction. And you know why I can say that? This got published on the UN website. They didn't figure Joe Average would go look at stuff on the UN website. I mean, be honest with yourself. When's the last time you went to go read an article on the United Nations page? Okay. This comes into what I'm saying about it's us versus them. (coughs) There were enough people who saw this yesterday and shared this yesterday to say WTF is going on with these people. Jay was smart enough to take screenshots of it and send it to me. But now you put this together and you look at what I just showed you and you tell me that it's a conspiracy theory that the elites are trying to help us. They're not. They're trying to kill us. This is a planned famine. This is a planned disaster. Believe me if you want. Don't believe me at your own risk. That's all I can tell you at this point. You know, if you you want to be part of the group that believes that we are at war against people, you'll find help. If you want to stick your head in the sand... And say, oh, none of this is true. You're just making all this up. I don't know what more black and white could tell you. Go look up articles on it. You know, you'll see it was pulled down. There's all sorts of articles in the news today about this being pulled down. Go look it up yourself. Maybe you'll have a awakening moment instead of a freaking woke moment. And well out. <laughs>